describe this with a judgmental attitude. There's lots of good things we do on screens. Our devices are very useful tools. I think it's important to keep in mind opportunity cost, which is a term that basically means if you spend your time and attention on one thing, it's at the cost of something else. If I spend two hours on Instagram, I'm not gonna get any better at that because I just spent two hours doing this other thing, right? So in other words, we need to pay attention to what we're paying attention to. Our lives are what we pay attention to because you're only gonna experience what you're paying attention to. And then you're only gonna remember what you pay attention to. So each momentary decision about how we spend our attention is how we spend our lives. And that, I think, is a big deal. So I like to think of a couple things here. I just alluded to this, but what are you or what am I not doing as a result of what I'm doing on my phone? Like, what am I not learning? What am I not experiencing? I bet you all have had experiences where you were technically with your parents, but they were not actually with you because they were on their phone and it annoyed you. It's actually to the point that I think of, and this is a quote from John Haidt, who's a writer in this case as well, that smartphones are really experience blockers. Like if you're on your smartphone, you're not really experiencing what's happening. And that can have really devastating effects on relationships in particular, and a lot of other things. But the thing I really wanted to focus on is the idea that our brains are constantly actually changing in response to what we pay attention to. And I don't know that this is really, this is really paid attention to enough.